Hi everyone. My name is Ramona Kraypot. I am the Israel Programs Director. And I am Mai Gutman. I am a Masa representative here in Australia for Australia and New Zealand. And we are really excited to welcome you to our Masa Career Expo. Um, if this will move. So this is the schedule for today. Um, we've got heaps of presenters. We're gonna present amazing different programs and I highly recommend for you all to listen in, tune in and learn a lot more about what MASA programs can offer you. And so we'll give you the MASA intro now. Um, so MASA was established in 2004 as a joint uh, project of the Jewish Agency. Um, and the Israeli government. And its aim is to provide long-term immersive programs in Israel that range from four to 10 months um, and ages 16 to 35. Um, and Masa basically has a wide range of different programs. And that's one of our main goals today is to bring you a little taste of all the different programs that Masa has to offer. So we have volunteer and community service programs, um, internship and career development programs, which is what we're mainly going to be focusing on in this expo. Um, we also have undergraduate and graduate academic programs, so study abroad and things like that, and Jewish studies programs and gap year programs. Um, we did have uh, earlier this year, we had our gap year program fair, so we will um, attach the link to that um, a little bit later if anyone else is interested in hearing about those programs. Other way. <laughs> um, so Masa also provides different opportunities there in Israel. So you can have leadership seminars, cultural events. Um, there's obviously a global Masa community. And um, if any of you have already been on a Masa program or are hoping to go on, on one, you'll realize that afterwards you really come back and there is a community of, like a, of everyone together. Um, you also have the opportunity to learn Hebrew in an all pan um, and organize trips in Tealim. Um, so the different kind of programs that we have um, are mainly, um, you know, programs that we're going to be talking about here are programs with accreditation. So MASA um, is a big part of that. Um, they pretty much run all of like, you know, the programs and they ascertain that everything goes um, according to, um, you know, health and safety standards, security, um, to make sure that everything runs smoothly. They'll pretty much be in charge of, you know, all of your, the visas, all of, um, you know, the logistic things. Um, and they'll make sure that you have a really smooth transition into your program. Um, they'll also on the funding side, um, we'll discuss this um, in a second, but they provide, you know, grants and scholarships to participants um, who are otherwise, you know, financially burdened. So the grants and scholarships, there is a universal grant of up to 5,000 US dollars. Um, you also have the option to opt out and donate this money to someone else. Um, this universal grant is dependent on the program and the length of the program. But on the other hand, we have the means tested scholarship, which is up to 6,500 US dollars. Um, this is based on income and length of program. So you have to provide full tax returns in order to be eligible for a needs-based scholarship. Um, as the other one, pretty much any, everyone is eligible from the get-go from the universal grant. Um, these two options really try aim to get everyone to Israel. You'll also hear from the different programs, um, their prices and some of them, it covers it, the cost, some of them it doesn't. Really ask the people who are coming and the, your, the program representatives about this and, and how this can help you. Um, we will mention that there are other ways you can get um, grants and, and funding aside from MASA, but we highly obviously recommend to use this avenue. Um, so in order to apply for MASA, you do need to pay um, a deposit of $50. And this um, basically adds into the entire cost of the program. Um, so if you do end up going on the program, it's just $50 off the um, initial amount. Um, and they are paid directly to the program provider. So there's no kind of back and forth between um, yourself independently and the program. It goes from Masa to the program organizers. So how to apply for funding. Um, you apply for your program directly. So if you decide to go on Yahel, um, which is the, our first presenter, you apply with them directly and then you will apply for Masa and the Universal Grant. Um, 
straight away afterwards and you'll have that application. Um, and then afterwards you have the opportunity to also apply for the needs-based scholarship. So you can continue your application by applying for this or after you've applied for my start in the universal grant, you can complete your application. Um, it's really, really important that every master fellow needs to apply for the online application, whether or not they are applying for funding or not, um, because this is the way, your way to get in to Israel with a visa um, and all these other programs and things that Masa offers. You have to ensure that you've applied for Masa. Um, so um, obviously the, the health, safety and the security of every Masa Israel journey participant is the first priority. Like I mentioned before, um, Masa receives direct health and safety updates and requirements from the Israeli government, which is then passed on to individual programs. And those programs are required to adhere to all the regulations. Um, so whether it be a COVID issue, whether it be um, security, anything like that um, in Israel, uh, Masa will be able to advise as to how to proceed and the program coordinators and the program organizers are very much um, aware of all of the different um, requirements and the regulations that they need to adhere to. So how to enter into Israel. So currently the Masa visa application process has changed, but on the Masa side, all Masa participants will receive a letter from Masa in order to apply for a visa. This letter will be in Hebrew and you will need to have this when applying for the visa. You will apply for an A2 visa um, and extensions are available once you finish your program. Um, you will most likely now do your application for a visa in Israel um, after you have arrived and each of your program providers know how to set this up as well. Um, something really important to note, Israeli citizens or people who are deemed to be Israeli need an army exemption um, and they need to apply for this through the Israeli embassy in Canberra. If you are an Israeli citizen or you're deemed to be an Israeli citizen, you, you won't be eligible for a visa. So please make sure that if you are an Israeli citizen that you don't need to worry about this and you've got an exemption. Um, and if you haven't gotten your Israeli citizenship, but you have one parent who is, is Israeli, you are deemed as Israeli yourself. So you will need to apply for citizenship yourself. Um, so refunds and cancellations, each program has their own refund and cancellation policy. We highly recommend for everyone to ask the program representatives about this. Um, and Masa, um, neither Masa or the ZFA are involved in booking or facilitating the flights. Um, every program is in charge of their own flight policy, whether it is that, you know, you pay, you pay and book for your own flights and you meet the program there, or they book it for you and you pay them back, or it's included in the program um, price, then that is something that you need to coordinate with your program coordinator. Masa and ZFA are not involved with any of that. Um, these are just some questions you can ask the program representatives, ask about refunds, their health and safety measures, the cost, if you want to see what a weekly or daily schedules to, to look like, um, changes in the program due to COVID-19 or potential changes that could occur in the future. Um, I think those are a few great questions to have at the back of your mind when you're listening to these presentations. And yeah, if you need any more information, please feel free to give us a call um, in our offices, 9272-5584. You can email um, any of the below email addresses. Feel free to take a screenshot. Um, we'll also show this as well, like at the end, if you have any questions or anything like that, um, or take a picture of your phone on your phone right now, um, we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Don't feel the need that you have to know everything after this um, expo. We'll be happy to help you um, you know, and lead the way into the right program for you. It's your only way to travel into 2023. Um, and we really hope that Masa can be there to guide you. If you guys have any questions now, we're more than happy to answer a few. Um, otherwise, we'll wait a few minutes until we have the presentation from your health. 